Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I am filming a top 10 of benefit products. These are just top 10 out of the wide range of products that I've tried, but I haven't by any means tried all of their products. I'm also just keeping this to just makeup, so I'm not including things like their perfumes or other body products. Um, it's not a sponsored video, it's just a brand that I've tried quite a lot from. I own quite a lot of benefit products and I do like the brand. I know it's a very popular one, so I thought this might be a popular video. I really hope that you enjoy it. Do give it a thumbs up if you do, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get started, and I'm going to be including 10 favourites from Benefit, but in no particular order. I'm going to start off with a little miniature, and this is the That Gal Brightening Face Primer. It's actually an ex-boyfriend who introduced me to this, because he said that his sister raved about it. And... I really like this. I think it delivers, basically. It's brightening and it helps to prolong the longevity of your makeup on your face. This is just a little sample size. Normally it's presented in a twist-up tube similar to um, Girl Meets Pearl. The only downside with it is that it is pricey and if you're using it all over your face, you can use it just as a highlighter, but if you're using it as it's described as a primer all over your face, then I'm very easily able to use it up within just a month. and it's a pricey product if you're using it on a daily basis to get through every month. That's the only downside, but I really do like it, and personally, I prefer it to the Professional, although I know that the Professional Primer is extremely popular. My problem with the Professional is that, to me, it's just very similar to other products that you can get that are a lot cheaper. Talking of base products, I've been very impressed with Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation and it's what I'm wearing on my face today. I've also done a first impressions review of this, so I'll link that below in case you'd like to see it applied. What I like about this is that it's long wearing, it feels very lightweight on the skin, but it gives a light to medium buildable coverage. Good coverage considering how lightweight it is. The downside is that it's only available in nine shades, so not great for a high-end brand, and I do think the packaging looks a little bit cheap, but it's functional and it's a really nice everyday foundation. It has SPF in, I could take or leave that because I include SPF in my skincare and that's how I like to get my sun protection. Some people might like that it includes SPF 25. Overall, I think this is a very, very nice foundation. I wish it was available in more shades, but overall, I would recommend it, I do like it. The best way that I can describe this is your skin but better. Very nice natural look, but with good enough coverage that, you know, you do look flawless. I mentioned that I'm not the biggest fan of the Professional Primer. However, I really, really like the Professional Powder. This is a Shine Vanishing Pro Powder, and it really does live up to that Shine Vanishing name. I always use this when I travel because I think the packaging, whilst it can feel a little bit cheap, I think the packaging is very functional. So it's like a salt and pepper shaker lid. You twist it open, tap some into the lid, and then underneath you've got a little mini miniature brush, which is actually not a bad brush because you can really get into like the crevices around your nose. A little goes a long way with this and it really does live up to that shine vanishing name. It's long wearing as well and helps to look and helps to prolong the longevity of the foundations that I pair it with. I like this with my Clarins True Radiance foundation for example. It's good that it works effectively with just a little amount of product because this is super expensive considering how little product you get in the package. I think there's only something like seven, you only get seven grams in here. So it's a loose powder, but you need to use it sparingly if you don't want to be uh, taking out a new mortgage to be using it. Pricey, but I do really, really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite loose powders, so I couldn't not include it despite the fact that I don't think it offers the best value. Again, another product that I've only got in miniature, and to be honest, it's fine. I don't need the full size, because how often do you use up a highlighter? This is Benefit's High Beam, such a popular product, and with good reason. It's a really, really beautiful highlighter. It photographs so well. I love using this on nights out to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, sometimes take it underneath my brow as well. I love liquid highlighters, and Benefit, of all the brands I've tried, make my favorite highlighters. I really, really do like them. High Beam has a nice sort of very subtle pink finish to it, so it's nice for winter use in particular. I really do like it. My favorite everyday highlighter is Girl Meets Pearl. I couldn't be without this. It gives such a gorgeous skin-like finish. It becomes one with your skin. It's a really, really flattering, just, it's a really, really flattering way of just adding a little bit of luminosity to your skin. I love it. I love how functional the packaging is as well. Just twist it up and I apply it directly to my skin because I'm only using it on myself. I don't know where my lid is. Mine looks a bit horrible, but I've still got the 
plastic lid on it, so it's fine. Despite what I said about that gal primer not lasting very long when it's in this type of packaging, I think that the packaging does lend itself well for a highlighter, because if you're just using it to highlight the high points of your face, then a little goes a long way. You don't need much, though this lasts me for so many months, and I use it, as I said, every day. Love, love, love it. One of the products that I wouldn't be without. If all my makeup disappeared, this would be one of the ones that I would rush out and repurchase. It wouldn't be a top 10 benefit products video if I didn't mention Hoola Bronzer. This is a beautiful product and actually it's one of the products that I mentioned in my very first video as being a favourite. So I've loved it for years. In fact, mine is in the old style packaging which I kind of prefer because I think it's a little bit easier to use. I'm nowhere near hitting pan on this. I tend to use this as my go-to for contouring if I'm not using my Kevin O'Croix. I've used it today to contour with. It's a very nice natural colour, it's not muddy, it's not too orange, it's just a good bronzer. Highly, highly recommend it. Again, the products are expensive, but you get a lot of product in here, and I do think that Benefit products are good quality, particularly these boxed products, really, really lovely. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. It's one of my favourite high-end bronzers. And on the same vein, I have to mention the box blushes. I adore these. I've got a few of them. I like Havana for spring. It gives a very nice baby pink shade when you swirl them all together. People really, really rave about Havana, but to be honest, I only tend to use it during the spring months. My two favorites that I can't be without are Coralista, gorgeous, come back to this summer after summer, really, really, really pretty shade. It lives up to its name. It's a coral, peachy pink, very wearable, looks fantastic with a tan, but I think this would suit any skin tone. It is absolutely stunning. People always say that they think this smells nice. I suppose it does kind of smell peachy, but it's certainly not something that I notice and definitely not something that I consider when I'm buying a blush. Well, having said that, I have bought the Physicians Formula Happy Booster blushes for that very reason, but this is what it looks like. Gorgeous colour, again, something that I think everyone should own. And I really like the packaging with the sort of leopard print jungle feel to it. Nice and summery. It's a summer essential for me. My go-to for autumn is Dallas, which is a really pretty sort of plummy shade. It's a nice contour colour if you're very, very pale, I would recommend this. It gives a very nice sort of plummy glow to skin in those autumnal months. Really, really beautiful colour. Love this. I really want to check out the Rocketeur as well. I've heard good things about that, but I don't know if it's too shimmery. Let me know if you've tried it. I really like the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadows, and I use the shade Skinny Jeans in my Benefit One Brand tutorial, so I'll link that below in case you want to see it in use. Just a really pretty silvery grey colour that's great for creating a smoky eye. Love this. And I think this sort of Art Deco packaging is so cute as well. I mentioned that I think Benefit is quite a pricey brand, and I think part of the reason people think that is because their products are very fun and, you know, they have this quirky packaging. But I do think they're good quality, as I mentioned, and I also think they're really innovative. And so I wanted to mention their Real Mascara. This lives up to the name because it does give a really pretty, lengthened, defined look to lashes. I think the benefit is really innovative because, I mean, when they launched this, there weren't really any other brands that I'm aware of that were doing this ball on the end of the mascara wand, but now there's countless copies of it. And so for that reason, I do think the price point is kind of worth it. This is a good mascara, I really like it, and it does enhance the lashes. It's particularly good if you need lengthening. I prefer something a little bit more volumizing, but I do like it. It's very, very long wearing. It's difficult to, it's difficult to remove, so that's a, good that's a good point, but some people might find it a downside as well. I also wanted to give a special mention to Bad Gal Mascara because it was the very first high-end mascara that I really got into using. I've purchased it and repurchased it time and time again. Love that for volumizing. However, I haven't included it in my top 10 just because I think that formulas have moved on, brushes have moved on. There's now other more affordable mascaras that will give you that look without forking out that much money. And so I can see why Benefit are focusing more on the, their real range. Although I do feel like a sense of nostalgia for Benefit Bad Girl. I loved that back in the day. 
gorgeous for volumizing the lashes. Whilst Benefit products are pricey, I think that their kits are fantastic value for money and a gorgeous gift idea as well. What girl wouldn't be happy to receive one of the Benefit kits? As I said, I think they offer good value for money and they're a great way of trying out lots of different products. They usually contain about five different miniatures in them. Again, I've done a tutorial using the Bronzer Champion, so if you'd like to see that, I'll link it below. I'm not sure if this specific kit is still available. I have no idea. They seem to reformulate their kits quite often, but certainly the products contained within it are such as What's Up, What's Up, I always call it What's Up, um, Hula, the lip glosses. So I'll link that video below in case you're interested. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Do let me know your top picks from Benefit and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.